Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I have just filmed possibly one of the funniest videos ever and like that I've ever done anyway, not ever in the history of the world. Um, and I'm super excited for you guys to see it very, very soon. It's the start of a new series that I'm starting, which will hopefully be a series. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for you to see that. It's a collaboration with people. Um, so today we're gonna to be reacting to the Dance Mania Mania After Show, but it was released early on iPlayer and I had no idea that they were going to do that because there was no kind of promotion for it, I don't think. Um, I didn't see any anyway. Um, people were just showing me on Instagram and stuff and I was like, okay, I don't want the spoilers, so I'll go and watch it as soon as I can. So I'm gonna watch it today, I'm gonna to react, give my opinions. Um, yeah, and if you want to see it in full, I believe it's only on CBBC, so I'm sorry if you don't have CBBC or BBC iPlayer. Um, I don't work for the next step, so I can't really offer any kind of support there. So we have here six different episodes. They're five minutes each, I believe, because that entire thing together is 25 minutes. And if they've done it in the same structure as the 200 episode Zoom special, that was just little clips all put together. Um, so the first episode is called Welcome. And the subtitle is Miss Angela, AKA Baroness Von Dance, interviews Rochelle and Kenzie. So with this, I don't have many predictions because I literally have no idea what it's about or what the purpose of it is, but I'm hoping that the characters will be very much in character. I know they're obviously filming it at home. This is like after season seven was filmed. It is literally like a few months ago um, at that. So. I'm just hoping that they've kept in character throughout. Like I, I wouldn't really like it if it seems a bit half-hearted and they're just kind of in character, but not totally. I'd also like it if there's some kind of reference to the fact that Dance Dance Mania, Angela was meant to be a coach for the next step and prepare them for Dance Mania, but she didn't do anything other than like film Kenzie and Kingston thinking that they were a couple and then find out that Lily and Kingston were a couple. And now that your professional career is dead, what's next? Dead. <laughs> Savage. First, we're going to take nationals and then internationals. I'm not going to start this debate again. No, I'm not going to start this debate again. This time next year, we can be in Paris. Are they planning for the next internationals to be in Paris? And the face is back. The face is back. I'm guessing she means the face for Absolute Dance. But that's summer. <laughs> they haven't taken it off summer yet, so... Do you think they would have won if Rochelle and The Next Step hadn't automatically disqualified themselves? Hey, listen, I've always been a big fan of Jay Cruz. I know the question's not for me, but personally, I think The Next Step would have won with that routine. I think it was stellar. I think it was amazing. Um, maybe that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, I thought that their routine brought a lot more than Jay Cruz's did in terms of pushing them to their limits, entertaining an audience, telling a story. You've seen the dancer Lily. You've seen her, right? The best dancer in the troupe. <laughs> Miss Angela, we love her. Yeah, the caterpillar, uh, she moved her arms around. <gasps> Roasted. I, I can't say if you would have won or if you would have lost because- Ah, all right, so I did make the right decision. Michelle didn't make the decision because she was at risk of losing. She made the decision because she didn't want to be tied to the, the Maria. And she wanted to dance with her team one last time and dance her best. So she didn't make the good best decision because she might have lost. Let's not retract, retract Rochelle's development there, please. I've only just noticed that Angela's glasses are also leopard print. I love it. Okay, so after that first episode, I liked how it is in character, very much so. Both Rochelle and Kenzie still called her Miss Angela. And the last time they saw her, well, no, Kenzie saw her in that one episode, but the last time Rochelle saw Miss Angela was when she said that she didn't have a dance studio. They don't actually know that she's a coach at the next step for Dance Mania. None of them really acknowledged that. And Rochelle's personality then was a bit like, like she was glad she went with the next step because she might have lost potentially. Like I know they weren't being fully serious, but yeah, I felt like that kind of backtracked her development a little bit. But let's see what episode two holds. Episode two is a quiz show. It's a little tickle in my throat. I don't know whether that was written in or whether that was genuinely just Kelly who plays Angela, like she, she just needed a drink, like she covered it well. But why not just cut it out? And if it was written in, is it gonna have relevance? 
Everyone keeps messaging me about who should have been Tweedledum, Ozzy or Heath. Ozzy. Ozzy's Tweedledum. That's it. End of debate. <laughs> but you know what would have been cuter? If their usernames, instead of being just TNS Heath, TNS Henry, like for Henry, it could have been Henny Penny, like, because that's what Amy calls him. Like, that would be a cute username. They could have been more creative names, you know? But I like, I like how they implemented that. Is Heath wearing his Thunder Bros t-shirt? We love Carter for this <laughs> carrying on plot lines. If, if someone told Carter to wear that, it might not even be that, it's just a red t-shirt, but if someone told Carter to wear that, thank you for plot development and plot continuation and s filling in a plot hole. This dance move in ballet means tiny jump. Petit jeté? Petit jeté? Petit jeté. Yeah, that's my answer. Petit jeté? Correct, that's one point for he. Thunder Bros, he is wearing his Thunder Bros top. I love it. <laughs> this dynamic duo lost the duet in season four. Um, Tanya and Chase, because they did a tango jazz fusion dance and it was a copy of something so they got disqualified. Am I a true dance maniac? Yes, but also, that question has relevance in the video that I've just made, so. Tanya and Chase. You got it. Ooh. Duncan B wowed the judges with this move. Duncan B, was it a B twist? A 540. A 540. Right answer. A style that is underrated. Tap, tap. Judges love tap, but it's underrated. Henry, I didn't finish the question. Jack dance. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Which judge is a singer, not a dancer? Maria. How did I get that wrong? But you know what? That makes Maria like J-Lo on World of Dance and Maria was the one who wanted to sign Rochelle and J-Lo was the one who took Briar on a tour. Episode 3 is Rochelle analysing the making of the Alice in Wonderland dance because she was the one who choreographed this dance. Maybe we'll get an explanation of where Rochelle got her costume from. Hey guys, it's Rochelle. Unfortunately, Miss Angela has my rejected so that's why she had the sip of her water last episode to tie into this one. So I'm guessing it was written in. If Miss Angela was sick, wouldn't she ask Lily to do it? Or, well, she might ask Rochelle actually because Rochelle has a lot of like clout with the Dance Mania fandom. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. But this scene, where was the film crew when this took place? How does Miss Angela have this footage? It was a challenge to keep our plans to change the dance a secret, especially from the Dance Mania production crew. Just a second to admire Briar's arm muscles. She's so toned. Like I would kill for Briar's body. Look, look at those arms. I was playing the role of Alice, but when I decided to go off and compete as a soloist, Summer took that role. I do think Summer probably would have done a better job than Rochelle, purely because Summer can emote better. And I know that will start the Summer versus Rochelle debate again. But yeah, I just think Summer was amazing in that dance. Like she showed it on her face very well. She told the story. And I also think just in general, Summer carried, not carried, that was the wrong word. She was a standout performer in both one dance and the Alice in Wonderland dance. When Egypt asked me to come back, it just, it didn't feel right to take on the role of Alice. Obviously, you're gonna, you're gonna take the role off Summer within like 30 minutes of deciding? That would have taken too long. Originally, Piper was playing the red theme. But for some reason, everyone kept insisting that I played that role. Everyone kept insisting she played that role on the day. Like, surely it would make sense to just write another role in for... I know there's, you can't just write a role in for Alice in Wonderland, but if everyone just danced the Alice in Wonderland stuff with Piper as the Red Queen and then Rochelle just danced the same choreo, people would overlook it because they knew that she wasn't meant to be in the dance on that day. What? I don't know, it's just confusing me how, like, especially for Piper, who complained when, like, Finn potentially got her kicked out of the dance and frazzled her, I don't think Piper would just roll over and say, oh, hey, Rochelle, you can, you can take my costume as I planned, take my choreo as I planned, I'll just have this random roll. Oh, look, I've just found some random Dormouse ears, I'll just wear those. Where did Piper get her costume from, then? It's just the costume for me, like, where do they find a random costume like that? I feel like they just should have left it as a plot hole or just had Rochelle literally dance in no costume whatsoever and just had her be a more background dancer in that dance. She knows the choreo, she set it. Even if she had a role like Piper's and Piper still remained the Red Queen. Like, yeah, Red Queen does suit Rochelle's personality very well, but... Now, reading a 
group dance is not easy. I wish we'd seen more rehearsals on the show. <sighs> Why? Why did we not see like scenes like this would have been so good? I mean, obviously it would have given away the plot with Rochelle rejoining, but scenes like that for like in in the studio. Oh, I, I miss rehearsals. And I think that's the end. Thank you, Rochelle. That was very informative. Right, episode four then is the Next Steps Best Studio Head. Nick hosts an interview with the Next Steps Best Studio Head, Emily. Did Emily write that caption? Because would Miss Angela really write that when she was a Next Step Studio Head herself? And we're looking for an opening act. Oh. Take A Troop, take them, please. I've kind of been avoiding the studio ever since A Troop and B Troop decided they both want to go to nationals. <laughs> Nick, do your job, please. How's he just avoiding the studio? No, go do your job. And you started with baby ballet, and mm -hmm. then you went through to A Troop, and then you became studio head. It was actually A Troop, then dance captain, and then studio head. I just want to make that perfectly clear. It was actually baby ballet, then J Troop, then A, then B Troop, then A Troop, then dance captain, then not dance captain, then dance captain again, then studio head. Please come back. <laughs> Oh, I love Nick so much. You're gonna knock it out of the park like you always do, okay? Thanks. Actually, Emily. Oh, we were so robbed of Rochelle and Emily scenes. Why would you delete this, please? Just like Finn sung for Piper. We, we didn't need any of the pin drama. We could have had this instead. I'd be completely honest with me because I know what I did right now is pretty bad. Yeah, and Rochelle's showing remorse as well. We needed this scene. We needed it. Did you do it just to spite Summer? Well, of course I was jealous of her, but it really wasn't for the reasons that you think. <laughs> Why was this deleted? I'm actually mad. This this solves so many issues and shows development and gives us Rochelle. Okay. Good luck, my girl. Thanks. My girl. This is too much. Why would you Why would you see this scene in the cutting room and say? Hmm. Trash. What I will say is that it was nice to see that the next step stuck to its values. Values. You're going to say that to A-Troop when they returned to the studio and looked at B-Troop as if there was something on the bottom of their shoe and, you know. Okay, so episode five is called Inside Talks and Bloopers. Uh, Kenzie is filling in for the Baroness as she explores what it was like to be on Dance Mania, the fans, the audience and the behind the scenes fun. So we're going to see some bloopers in this one. I'm excited. I love bloopers. The Baroness is still out with laryngitis. I wonder though if actually she had laryngitis because if not, it seems very pointless and very fitting for Angela's season seven to only have her in like one episode and then not really an explanation for the rest of them. Do you know what I mean? If Miss Angela hosted them all, I probably would have enjoyed that a lot more. Um, but if she genuinely did have laryngitis, what am I to do? Like it, it's acceptable, it's fine and I may even become a TV producer after this. Shout out to Sean. Kenzie could have had such a good storyline. Dance Mania comes in. She's like, wow, these cameras are really interesting. I'd love to have a career in this. She has a talk with Shane and other cameramen. And throughout, she's like, wow, I'd love to be in this industry, you know? Set her up to have a future outside the next step. Missed opportunity. For example, the green room. It's where the TV producers put the talent. But it's not even green. If you'd like to know why the green room is called the green room, it's because the green room in like olden days used to be like outside most of the time and that's where the actors would like hang out and stuff. So it was the green room because it was outside and the, the phrase stuck. I'm pretty sure that's the reason anyway. Oh, here's all the soloists and duets we didn't get to see and instead we had to endure Piper and Finn arguing and being in the mood of each other and Finn doing a song for Piper which she didn't really deserve. It was cute, but you know. We could have had this, and we could have had Rochelle and Emily's scene instead. Okay, final episode. Back from an inconvenient bout of laryngitis. I'm guessing that it's probably filmed in one day. Why not just have Angela host everything? It's her podcast. Oh, Lily looks beautiful. Well, Katie, Katie looks beautiful there. Oh, Henry and Amy. Piper being excited over Amy. Love it. Henry's recording a song tomorrow, so he wants to rest his voice. And um, well, for season eight, now that she said that, Amy said that, I'd like to see Henry singing. And you're gonna write your answers on a piece of paper. Or a whiteboard. If you're 
Look at Piper being prepared. We love it. Finn. I'm Finn. Amy. Of course. I'm boyfriend. The question was friend. It's just gone backwards. Oh, yeah, I don't find Finn funny, but I'm glad Piper picked Amy. Very in character. We got vegan cookie dough. Finn. Vegan cookie dough. Oh, I stan. Who's the vegan? Dolphin or eagle? Dolphin tail. <laughs> yes. Really, Kingston? What? The only thing with this quiz, how are they, like, how are they knowing who is meant to answer for who? Like every round I'm kind of confused of who is answering on behalf of who. Like is is Piper meant to be answering what the best thing about Finn is? Or is Finn meant to, meant to be answering what the best thing about Piper is? Like you don't know until they say the answers. Keep your feet light and your moves tight. I'm Baroness Von Dance and that's another season of the Dance Mania Mania podcast. It was okay. Um, I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I thought it might be quite underwhelming and a bit pointless, but I liked it. I just think that Angela should have hosted all six sections of it. If there's a genuine reason, like Kelly, her actress, was ill, then that's fine. I totally get it, but I just feel like she should have done it. Also, I feel like there could have been better explanations, and those deleted scenes should have stayed in, in my opinion. The quiz at the end, I felt like that was a little bit unnecessary, if anything, because... I don't know. And why is Piper so happy talking to Miss Angela? And do they even know that she was meant to be a coach for season seven? I feel like there's like still plot holes with it. Yeah, so it was good, but I wouldn't say it was like amazing in any sense. Um, there was things that annoyed me. There was still plot holes that they didn't fill up. And yeah, no explanation for where Miss Angela's been this whole time. So that was great. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down below anything you like and make sure you subscribe. I have a really cool new series starting soon. Hopefully it'll be a series, but the singular video is coming out soon anyway, the first episode of it. Um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on for when I upload. I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye.